think I, I would answer the way Winston Churchill uh, answered about democracy. You know, it's, uh, many have been saying that uh, uh, capitalism is the worst uh, system in, in, uh, in the world, uh, but except for all of the other forms that have been uh, tried uh, from time to time. We can imagine a world where we are all happy with having the reasonable, minimal standard of living for everybody which is compatible with uh, with uh, planetary boundaries we can imagine that but the question is actually can such a world ever be brought into existence and that's where you really encounter problems so one danger is to imagine worlds of utopia which are unrealizable uh, or or the other uh, extreme is to believe that whatever now exists by the virtue of existence it confirms that it's the only possible way of life. And I think both of these are wrong for opposite reasons, uh, which means that we have to accept the life as it is, but try to, to improve it. As with any system, whether that being economic, political, chemical, physical, or biological, it will continue to exist in a perpetual state of growth, development, transformation, ultimately demise. And then after death, some new form will emerge again. I think this is a situation with uh, capitalism. It's a process. It's a cycle. I thought capitalism with some progressive ideas uh, of social justice will make the democratic world countries to continue for some time. But recent occurrence in political system in the United States or some part of Europe make me feel that I, I, I cannot be so optimistic. I think overall capitalism will survive, uh, uh, you know, from ups and downs because it has uh, uh, inner, inner strength, but it also has some very obvious weaknesses that have led to inequality and disparity uh, and, and over time this hybrid model of uh, state and market within capital development will allow different societies to to adjust and to achieve their aims what we learn from the 20th century into the great ex the experiments of the great socialist economies is that that process of production and allocation just doesn't work well and it leads to terrible disasters. And we also learned the flip side, right? We, we had, had laissez-faire capitalist economies that also led to bad things, you know. For me, socialism will be about reminding capitalism of the finite nature of the Earth's assets and of the need to operate within those finite boundaries um, if we are to survive as a human civilization. You know, we will want to meet society's essential needs, whereas capitalism at the moment wants to meet unlimited desires and wants. Um, and uh, the exponential rise in those desires and wants. And we can't have that. You know, So I think um, That's great. that would be the way I would I would see things to see to see the market subordinated to the needs of society and the economy is support, subordinated to the finite limits of the ecosystem. Capitalism does, uh, to a large degree, provide a stimulus for innovation, and that's extremely useful. That's something which uh, is a reason why our technology has advanced as far as it has, where the Soviet system was a comparative, obvious comparative failure. But capitalism will not stop at its boundaries. So you have to, you have to have a, a, a sort of a Gaia philosophy saying, we know that if we let capitalism expand, it will destroy the biosphere. Look at the case of China or Vietnam. Yeah, politically, ideologically, they are talking about this uh, socialism, communism, but if you look at on the implementation, they somehow depend so much on the, on the market. So, in my view, many countries are more pragmatic now. I do believe that what would happen will be a tug of war between this ideology. And we will perhaps end up 
with the so-called with the hybrid capitalism. Yeah, hybrid capitalism means that uh, market works, but there is a role for the government here and there, industrial policy, inequality, social protection, etc. Capitalism survives because it adapts. And it is up to us, especially the citizens of democratic societies, to create the structures to which capitalism must adapt. And it is with the people to insist that capitalism must adapt to the rights and laws and institutions uh, that we insist upon. Uh, it, is, it is up to us to make those demands. It is up to us to impose those demands on our lawmakers and through them uh, on our market actors and our business community and our economists and so forth.